Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe in a report that I'm sure is going to bring a lot of wet dreams to the IWC, YWC, or many fans that are uh, a part of the YES movement. F4W Online is reporting and confirming that WWE officials are indeed discussing the idea of putting Daniel Bryan into the WWE World Heavyweight title match with Batista and... Uh, Randy Orton at WrestleMania 30, making it a triple threat. So Orton, Brian, Batista. Brian versus Triple H in a singles match, however, is still on the table. As noted, WWE officials are holding off any big decisions, at least until the Elimination Chamber is over. And I think that's where the WWE are playing things safe. But then you got this whole CM Punk debacle that's almost overshadowing what Daniel Bryan wants to, you know, wants to, you know, succeed at being the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. You know, finally, the WWE seems like they're giving in to all these chants and all the publicity that Daniel Bryan is getting. And, you know, all these high schools and uh, these the football games and all these pl different places all over the world chanting yes, yes, yes. I mean, it is the yes movement. And I guess the WWE had no other alternative but to cave in. And this would be, I guess, the feel-good moment of WrestleMania. But how is Batista going to take this? How is he going to feel? Because Batista probably was under the, under the impression that he was going to be the next guy, that he was going to be the guy to carry the ball and become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I just hope that this time around, if Daniel Bryan is indeed going to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, that they give him the championship longer than a cup of tea, longer than a cup of coffee, hell, longer than a week. Daniel Bryan needs to go on a long, successful run where he has to overcome the odds and, you know, the deck, keep, the deck keeps getting stacked against him, kind of like Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, you know what? You know, I might not be the biggest Daniel Bryan fan, but the guy deserves it. You know, he's been in his back as it is. You know, he's, 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 he's busting his ass. He's having great five-star caliber matches. He goes balls to the wall, you know, and I mean, you know, I I mean, I can't come on here and say he doesn't deserve it or he shouldn't win it, because at the end of the day, Daniel Bryan is what's best for the fans. I'm not so sure if it's best for business, because like I said, it doesn't amount to money. It doesn't amount to higher ratings. It doesn't, um, uh, you know, amount to higher merchandise sales, higher pay-per-view buy rates, higher ticket sales. It just doesn't amount to that kind of thing. But you know what? Maybe if they keep shoving Daniel Bryan in your face and you have to accept it, maybe he'll become the next John Cena or Randy Orton and he gets kept shoving in your face and you have no other alternative but to accept it. Your comments and your opinions, subscribe.